Kevin Love reportedly ready to move out of Minnesota. According to ESPN's Mark Stein, Love has made it clear to the Timberwolves he does intend to become an unrestricted free agent after next season has no interest in a contract extension with Minnesota. I'm Lisa Kerner with your latest ESPN headline. For more on this story, we welcome in ESPN NBA analyst Amin Al Hassan. I mean, love not demanding a trade, but certainly forcing Minnesota's hand a little bit here. Yeah, this is the new passive aggressive way to demand a trade in the NBA. You just, if you feel like love and you have the foresight of getting a player option on the last year of your deal, you just pretty much make it clear that you're going to test free agency at your earliest convenience and you have no plans on staying in Minnesota. So, it's kind of up to you guys whether you want to trade me or not. And as we've seen in the past, it's some other high-profile guys. It usually ends up with these guys getting traded. Minnesota, though, can offer Love an extra year worth roughly $30 million in his next deal if he does become uh, an unrestricted free agent. Are you hearing anything about whether he's really ready to walk away from that kind of money? Uh, I, think, I think he would be. Uh, the math about it is you kind of would do what Dwight Howard did. You sign a new four-year deal somewhere else, but really you have an option on that fourth year. So worst-case scenario, you go through three years, and then you can opt out and then get your bird rights if you pick the right city. And if you haven't picked the right city, you can go and, and kind of repeat the process. This is a privilege of being one of the best players in the league. You know you're going to have a market for your services as long as you're within your prime. Loves six pro seasons. Minnesota has never made it to the postseason. He's made it clear he wants to go to a team that's ready to win. I mean, where do you see him landing? Wow. Well, you know, a lot of that has to do with Minnesota and what they're looking for in return. If they're trying to get a higher caliber of player in the door right now, teams like Golden State and Chicago can probably offer more in that respect as far as players. David Lee from Golden State, Todd Gibson from Chicago. If they're looking for building blocks for the future, you know, uh, draft picks and flexibility and, and things like that, you look at the Phoenix Suns, you look at the Boston Celtics, they both have an abundance of draft picks to offer in any sort of deal. So really, the key is, what is Minnesota looking for? Well, Love ranking third in a player efficiency behind only Kevin Durant and LeBron James. As you mentioned, the, the lottery coming up, knowing exactly what teams are going to get where. Uh, can you even can you even look ahead and and know maybe how much Kevin Love uh, could garner in that respect? Well, again, it, it all depends. You know, if you're talking about, for instance, I mentioned the Phoenix Suns, they have uh, probably three picks and an outside chance of four picks in this upcoming draft. Boston has several upcoming trips, uh, picks coming from uh, Brooklyn in the, ne in the next few years. Uh, Golden State, on the other hand, doesn't have any picks at all. They, they maybe have a 2015 that they could offer only after the draft, and uh, then the next first round that they can offer is in 2019. So if you're Golden State, your pitch is maybe – I can give you better players right now. Chicago probably gives you the best of both worlds as far as players who can play now and uh, future picks as well. The options certainly could become very interesting. Amin Al-Hassan with the latest insight as Kevin Love uh, reportedly looking to become an unrestricted free agent after next season. I'm Lisa Kearney for all the latest on this story as it develops. Keep it locked on the NBA page on ESPN.com.